Hey, 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 Notre Dame. I'm back. It's me, Steven Schwartz. And I also have Juju Montes with here, co-anchoring with me today. Juju, you're a freshman this year. How's your, how is your year going? And what's one thing you like about Notre Dame? My year is going by so great. One thing I love about Notre Dame is the student government that I'm in, and it's really fun. That's great. Well, let's get to it, shall we? And away we go. Next week, we kick off our You Use, You Lose campaign. That's right. We'll start things off on Wednesday with the Faith Formation Assembly, where senior Chase McBride will talk about the ramifications of using drugs. I had a chance to speak with him earlier. Chase, thank you so much for taking a few minutes with NEP Live. If you could tell me how drugs have impacted your life. Um, drugs have impacted my life because I have found at a young age I had a problem with them. Um, after multiple attempts to sober up and multiple consequences, I just haven't stopped. But I finally got it on May 6th of last year, and I've been sober ever since. Can you tell us what to expect from your speech on Wednesday? You know, just expect me to tell my story, my experience, strength, and hope. And um, if it resonates with one person, then I know I did my job. And my goal is just to create awareness to substance abuse. What's one um, thing of advice you could give to the students regarding drugs? My biggest piece of advice would be your brain is still developing. Um, adolescent substance use in general is, can be very catastrophic. Um, and there's a reason that legal drinking age is 21. The brain isn't fully developed by 25. So it's just something to keep in mind that you're just, halt you're just halting your brain's development. And it's just not something that should be on your radar right now. Thank you, Chase. We will all be interested to hear more about Chase's story, so make sure you don't miss his presentation next week. And don't forget, student volunteers will be walking around campus at lunch next Thursday to get all of you to sign the anti-drug pledge. Then, they'll draw one student to win $50. But that's not all. Make sure to show up and support our Saints at the football game next Friday for a chance to win $500. You'll have to sign the You Use, You Lose pledge again to enter. The winner will be announced at halftime. We should also mention that our Saints will be playing North Canyon, so it should be a good game. Hey Saints, homecoming is just around the corner, so mark your calendars. Festivities start at 7 p.m. on Friday, October 20th, with a home football game against Arcadia. Then, Saturday, October 21st, is our own homecoming dance, which starts at 7.30. I can't wait. This year's theme is 007 Team. There's going to be great music, dancing, and fun. Make sure to purchase your tickets to the dance now by going to ndpsaints.org slash homecoming. We now want to congratulate senior Fallon O'Connell, who recently qualified for some really big national equestrian competitions back east. Her story is unique, though, because her horse is actually blind in one eye. Ben Davis sat down with her to get all the details. Fallon, how long have you been riding horses? Um, I've been riding them since I was five, so like 13 years. We're watching a video of uh, you right now riding a horse, but how can you do it with a horse that's blind in one eye? Um, I just kind of make sure that he knows what's going on on his blind side, so like I make sure to leave him a little bit extra room so like nothing touches him. Tell me about the competitions you're about to compete in. Um, I qualified for the Pennsylvania National Horse Show, which is in Pennsylvania, and the National Horse Show in Kentucky. How hard is it to qualify for these shows? Uh, I travel a lot. I, I'm gone almost every weekend um, getting points to qualify for them, so it's, it's pretty hard. Wow. Well, we want to wish you good luck. Thank, Thank you. you for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Wow. Riding a horse is hard, but riding one who's blind in one eye is even more incredible. And last minute announcement. Tickets for Radium Girls are on sale. Just go to ndpsaints.org slash box office. Showtimes are Friday, October 27th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, October 28th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. I'm in the show. And don't forget, Saints, parent-teacher conferences are on Tuesday, October 24th from 4 to 7. Don't make your parents come by themselves. You should come too. Well, that's it, Saints. Those are your NDP Live video announcements. And thank you, Juju, for co-anchoring with me. You were awesome today. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye-bye, Notre Dame. <laughs>